Church, say amen. 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 Put your hands together. Amen. Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 138 years that God has blessed this church family. That's a reason to give God some praise. Amen. That's a reason to say thank you, Lord. There's some churches who don't make it. Amen. But God saw fit to bless the New Prospect Church, and we can honestly say down through the years, the Lord's been good to us. Amen. Has God been good to you? Didn't he wake you up this morning? Didn't he start you on your way? Didn't he put food on your table? I mean, with everything that have blood, praise the Lord. I don't see no test in here today. So everybody in here should be giving God some praise. Amen. So let us join in together and worship our Lord and Savior. Amen. Scripture by Minister Eudis Gillum, our prayer by Minister Betty Beatty, a selection by the Bethesda Church Choir, our welcome announcements in church history by uh, Deaconess Ursula Wright, and then we'll return. Good morning, church. Good morning. Our scripture reading will be coming from Psalm 150. And it reads as according, Praise ye the Lord. Mm -hmm. Praise God in his sanctuary. Yes, Lord. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Uh -huh. Praise him for his mighty acts. Uh -huh. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Uh -huh. yeah. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Uh -huh. Praise him with the psaltery and the harp. Uh -huh. Praise him with the temple and the dance. Yeah. Praise him with string instrument and uh -huh. organs. Yes, Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbal. Yeah. Let everything, everything that have breath yes, praise the Lord. Praise and then above that he said, praise ye the Lord. Lord. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, Lord of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Father, we humbly bow before you this morning. We come to offer up thanksgiving unto your most holy name. God, we say hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty. Father, we thank you for another day to enter into the sanctuary. Celebrating 138 years. Standing on the word that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Yes, 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 Lord. 
And you said the gates of hell shall not prevail against your church. The church, the ecclesia, the called out ones, your chosen people. Father, we have gathered in this house today to praise your holy name. Thank you, God, for last night's rest. We thank you for allowing us to see this day that we have never seen before and we shall never see again. But today, God, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Father. We thank you for this church family, Lord, who's been standing all this time. We thank you for the love in this church. And we thank you, Father, that a family that prays together stay together. Thank you for keeping us, Lord God, down through the years. <laughs> thank you, Father God. And Father, we just pray for the sick and the afflicted today, the careless, the unconcerned, those that don't know you and the free pardon of their sins. Father, you said the harvest is plentiful, but your laborers are few. God, I pray you send laborers into the field to reap this end time harvest of souls. For it's not your will that any should perish but all shall come to repentance. Thank you, Father. God, we thank you for covering those on the battlefields today. Protect them from all hurt, harm, and danger. Father, you said there was gonna be wars and rumors of wars, but you said the end is not yet. But there is coming a day, God, when those that remain will be caught up together with you in the air. Father, we thank you today for your love for all of us, that you are not a respecter of persons. Father, you love the Jews and the Gentiles alike. You're the same God for everybody. God, we say thank you today. And we thank you, God, that those that love you, that one day we're going to live with you. Eternal life. That's what I'm working for. <laughs> thank you, Father God. Father, we thank you for the servant that comes to break unto us the bread of life. God, we ask that you use him in a mighty way this morning. Let him speak with boldness. Speak through his lip and think through his mind. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, reveal yourself to us through him on today. Mm -hmm. Father, we know whatever it is we need in this house today, you got it. And Father God, we know that you're going to meet us at our point of need. We say thank you in advance, God. Yes, yes, yes. We thank you for showing up. We thank you for showing out. Yes. We thank you for doing all that you want to do in this place on today, God. Yes, no. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, thank you for your grace. Yes, no. thank, you. thank you, God, for meeting our every need. Yes. Yes. And God, whatever you want to do today, God, we're going to receive it. We're going to rejoice in it. And we're going to thank you for it right now, God. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.
church say amen. 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 Say amen again. Amen. God have been good to us. Yes, sir. 138 years. And he said, 138 years, somebody been blessed. Amen. And you know, I figured out one song I was going to sing, but I don't think that's going to suit the case. <laughs> Somebody been around here and know something about Jesus. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 He woke us up this morning. Let us see another brand new day. Whole lot of stuff going around. But we are glad that he died yes, sir. to save all of us. Yes, sir. Just want to sing a verse here and we're going to get back down the road. Oh, Amen. Now, yes, now, 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 it's, it's, I know everybody can open their mouth in here, right? Yes, sir. Somebody can open their mouth around here because you've been here at 138. <laughs> somebody was late, somebody feel like they didn't want to come. Amen. But we're still blessed. Yes, sir. Amen. Do you think I'll, I'll make a soldier? Right, yes, oh, do you think I will make a soldier? Oh, Lord, do you think I'll make a soldier? I thank God. I thank Oh, yes, I
I'm gonna say this here and I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, right. Share. Come on. You are. Not the other way to say it. Oh, right. I'm not singing no more. Choir stand was added with a pastor study in the basement. 
Bible study was started on Wednesday nights in 1977 and 78. Reverend Greg ordained deacons and his final trustees at this time. Some of them included uh, junior deacons, trustees, Eugene Gillum, Leonard Hamilton, and Macabeo Rice, Willie Mattbell, James Gillum, Ernest Ferguson, Victor Jones Jr., and Mardell Hunter Sr. After Deacon's Green death, James Nathaniel Hunter became the chairman. I'm sorry, I got something mixed up. The church was remodeled in 1985, receiving a new top, new lights, new windows, a reconstructed temple, and an outside door entrance was bridged. Brother McKissick and Mary Hunter were added to the trustee board in 1986. Central Al was added and a new piano was purchased. Reverend Gray served from 1958 until 2008. 2009, Reverend Hunter became pastor until 2011. Reverend Pierre Sandler was pastor from 2012 until 2016. God blessed us with Reverend J.J. Surratt in 2017. Amen. 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 We thank God for Pastor Surratt and his family. We are grateful and growing under his leadership. Amen. And under the admonition of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our associate ministers are Minister Julius Gillum, Minister Carolyn Alexander, and Minister Betty Bailey. Deacon Marion Hunter is the chairman of our deacon ministry. And our deacons include Deacon Nathaniel Hunter, Deacon Charles Briggs, Deacon Carl Wright. Our trustee chairman is Brother James Harris Gillum. Our trustees include Brother Keith Hunter, Brother Craig Hunter, Brother Milton Hunter, Brother Thomas Earl Hunter, and Brother Otis Booker, and Brother Al Herbert. Sister Mary Ruth Elgin is the mother of our church. We salute all of you today and your work here in the, on the, in the vineyard. We salute the motherboard, deacons, trustees, clerks, musicians, ushers, missionaries, pastor, youth advisors, youth scholarship committee, choirs, culinary committee, sanitation, and well wishes. We thank God for you being a part of this great today, day to day. Look where God has brought us from. Amen. 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 We thank God. Amen. 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 Ask you to keep all announcements in mind. And we definitely thank God for 138 years. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday and anniversary to those that are standing. I know the uh, month has changed, but last Sunday we didn't get to. We was uh, in a, a, I ain't going to say a hurry, but we kind of sped it up. And, and then uh, I got up here. My sermon took longer than I planned on, but you can't rush the Lord. Amen. Uh, I told Reverend Hunter I was sorry we was behind, but I preached longer than I planned on preaching. But uh, in saying that, all the April babies, please stand. I know we had Deacon Nate, Miss Maggie, uh, anybody else, Brother Booker. Amen. Happy birthday. Amen. Happy birthday to all the April babies. Amen. Amen. Any anniversaries in April? No anniversaries. Amen. So happy birthday to you all. Uh, we thank God and keep those on our healing list in your prayers. Keep those on the healing list in your prayers. Uh, glad to have Miss Ethel May Browning back with us today. Amen. And it's always good to see my friend with us, Mr. Bill Macbeth, here with us today. Amen. Amen. Please keep all those on your prayers. Continue praying for all the bereaved families. We ask you to keep the Bird family uh, in your prayer. Amen. Uh, brother in law, Miss Deborah Bird, uh, Pee Wee's brother, went home to be with the Lord. The funeral service will be today. So y'all keep the Bird family in your prayers. On next Sunday, we will honor our mothers for Mother's Day. And on the third Sunday, we will honor all of our women for Women's Day. All graduates' names are due today to myself or Miss Mary Hunter. And we will honor our grads on the fourth Sunday during our morning worship service. Amen. We will not have Bible study this week. Well, it's tithes and offering time. And today, I heard somebody clapping. <laughs> Amen. God loves a cheerful giver. So when you walk around the offering table, you're supposed to be smiling. <laughs> Amen. And today, uh, y'all know, in celebrating 138 years, we've asked every member, in addition to your tithes and offering, to give a dollar for every year that the Lord has blessed this church. 
You can write it down. Uh, uh, you ain't got to write but one chick. I didn't write but one chick. You can write it down there under other, and Sister Tasha would know uh, that's your church anniversary money. So you write your tithe in this normal spot, and then down there for other, you put your 138, total it up together, and uh, put it in the basket. Again, I told y'all, if God lay on your heart to give more than 138, you're more than welcome to do that. We're not going to stop you. Amen? Amen. Hey Amen. It may be on your heart to double 138. So whatever God lay on your heart, you can give 276. We ain't nobody going to be mad at you. But at this time, our trustees will come and we will lift our offering uh, at this time. God bless you. And while we are lifting our offering, uh, Brother Jesse Wheeler is going to bless us with a selection. Praise the Lord, everybody. First thing I want to say, I miss everybody because I ain't been in church for a while. I've been taking care of my mom. And sometimes it get rough and healthy, but I do want to know I missed everybody. And the time I've been gone, God has blessed me and changed me from a different person where I am now. He showed me things that I didn't see at first. Give me the courage to come up here and do what I'm doing now. Amen. So I want to bless the church with this song. And it's an old song. If you know it, you can sing along with me. The more the merrier. Amen. Okay. Lord, it's going to rain. It's going to rain. You better get ready. And bear it in mind, God showed Noah the rainbow sign. He said it won't be water, but fire next time. Oh, way back in the Bible days, Noah told the people it's gonna rain. And when he told them, they paid him no mind. And when it happened, they were left behind. I tell you, it's going to rain. It's going to rain. Lord, you better get ready and bear it in mind. God showed no the rainbow sign. He said it won't be water for fire this time. No one told the people in plenty of time. But they was too simple. They were too blind. And when it came on that awful day, they tried to pray. But the prayers came too late. I tell you, it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. Boy, you better get ready and bear it in mind. God showed no one. The rainbow sign, he said it won't be water for fire next time. Mr. Church, tell me when the rain begin to pour. They not on the window, they not on the door. They can't know exactly what to do. So you don't want the same to happen to you. I tell you, it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain, Lord, you better get ready and bear it in mind. God showed over the rainbow sign. He said it won't be water for fire next time. Noah told the people, I'm sorry, my friend. Lord's got the key and you can't get in. If something don't happen, to the hearts of men the same thing is gonna happen again i tell you it's gonna rain 
it's gonna rain. Oh, you better get ready and bear it in mind. God showed no the rainbow sign. He said it don't be water, but fire next time. Thank each and every one of you uh, for your giving. Amen. Amen. It's preaching time. Amen. Amen. It's preaching time. And our speaker today, amen, he's a very uh, good friend of mine. He's a cousin of mine. Uh, he's always uh, been the same since I've known him. Uh, and I see, I know y'all see he's a Big guy in stature, but he's a gentle giant, I promise you. <laughs> Don't make him upset. But he, he's a gentle giant. Uh, he's one that has uh, helped me tremendously uh, when God was working on me before I would accept and walk in my calling. If I had a question, he'd always ask him a question. Amen. I don't know if he knew God was working on me or not, but I'd ask uh, Pastor Oglesby all kind of questions, and he would always ask them. Uh, I always answer. He's married to Lady Joyce Oglesby. Together they have four children. They have nine grandchildren with one on the way. Amen. 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 He, got, he got a heap of grandchildren. Amen. Right. Amen. Uh, he's soon to be, uh, this coming July, be 12 years the pastor of the Bethesda Baptist Church. Amen. 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 We are blessed to have him with us today. I could go on and on about Reverend Roderick Oglesby, uh, but I'm not. And I always tell him, uh, it's only one bad thing I can say about him. Uh, he's a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. <laughs> Other than that, he's a good man. He's a godly man. He's one who will stand boldly and proclaim the word of God. So after the Bethesda Baptist Church Choir blesses us with a selection, the next voice you will hear will be none other than their very fine pastor. And we thank them for coming today. Amen. 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 We thank them for coming. It will be Reverend Roderick Oglesby Senior. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Let the church say amen again. Amen. Don't worry about it. I'm not saying it. <laughs> we have some, some young people. Amen. Amen. And you got to expose them to what need to be done in a church. I know they're going to be scared, they're going to be shook up, but I was the same way. Now I talk too much. Amen. But we have one of our young ladies here, she's the president of the Usher Bowl. Amen. Say amen. 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 You don't find too many young people can be able to perform like she do. Amen. Amen. My hat on got a great time you sit down. Amen. But she needs some encouragement, and as we go forward, we hope that y'all can encourage her also. Amen. Amen. Is that all right, Reverend Oseman? Yes, sir. Don't fool me now. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Ain't nothing like a little fun. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Keep smiling and keep that frown off your face. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I love. 
love to praise Him. I love to praise His name. I love to praise Him. I love to praise His name. to celebrate 138 years. Yes, yes, amen. We thank God, amen, for all of your officers, amen, visitors and friends, amen, to Lady Surratt. I almost called her by her first name, but I had to remember that we in the house of a God, amen, and there's a way of doing things. Amen. Even to my wife, in her absence, she sends her love. Amen. She's been under the weather all 
weekend, amen, that she wants you to know that she's in pride and wanted to say happy anniversary as well. Amen. amen. But also, amen, it, it would be remiss of me to not mention, amen, the Bethesda Baptist Church. Bethesda, make some noise. Amen. 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 amen, amen. And also, we thank you for your patience. We're running a few minutes, amen, behind, but God's still the same now as he was a while ago. Amen. amen. And he is the same now. Amen. 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 If you bow your heads with us, Father, we thank God for one more time. One more time to stand behind thine holy desk. We pray, Father, now that you move us out of the way. Let thine will be done. The words of our mouth, the meditation of thy heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, thy strength and thy redeemer. And all the children of God said together, Amen. 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 I haven't mentioned your pastor yet, uh, New Prospect, because I told him in the back that we weren't going to talk about football. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. But Pastor Surratt, I want you to know I love you. I appreciate your introduction. Amen. And, and all that we do, we can lean upon each other, but I'll wait to after service to talk about that. <laughs> if you would, amen, turn with us in your Bibles to, to Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Amen, thank God, amen, for Deacons that are here, my chairman, Deacon, Amen, Deacon John D. Chief. He's the one that was up here making some noise a few minutes ago, Amen. So the pastor, in a few minutes, I'm gonna put him in the pool. Pete. Watch out. Also, Amen to all my deaconess that are here, and the president, Amen. Our deaconess, Amen, deaconess, Amen, Yvonne Hammond. But also, amen, I thank God not only for Deacon Cheek, but I thank God for someone we call Ma. Amen. Deacon that Cheek, we appreciate you. We love you. Amen. Sometimes I think she, uh, I, I, I miss her a lot, but sometimes she gets upset because I don't call her on time. <laughs> amen. Amen. But it ain't because I don't want to. <laughs> amen. But I thank you for your concern. Romans chapter 8. Verse 37. The founder, amen. If you don't mind resting upon your feet and showing reverence to the law. The founder, say amen. amen. If you're still looking, say, wait a minute. Amen. To all of these great preachers, amen. To here in the pulpit with us, amen. We thank God for you for carrying the word. Here in Romans. Chapter 8, verse 37, we find these words. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors <clears throat> through him that loved us. Can we, can we read that one more time? And I, I need everybody to read it with me because I need you to hear, amen, what this is saying, especially <clears throat> on this great occasion. Yeah. Romans 8, 37, ready to read together. Nay, Nay. in all Nay. these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. You may be seated. If we could for just a moment, amen, we want to talk on the subject through it all. We may. But if I wanted to make this thing a little bit more personal, because we didn't get here by ourselves, Amen, brother. but because I know that I know that I know, I'll say through all, through it all, I made it. Amen. Now, the first thing, man, before we can go anywhere, I need you to, to understand and to make sure that you know where we go. And 
We need to understand, amen, what the word through means. See, through means it is a function word to indicate movement into uh, at one side or point and out of another. Amen. But biblically, amen, through means finished or done. But I, I, I'm so glad, amen, that we are not dependent upon ourselves, that, 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 that we have somebody that's right there by our side that will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. Yes, sir. <laughs> Made it, amen. It means to accomplish something or to become successful, to succeed uh, at something or to arrive. For example, I can't believe, believe you made it because it was a difficult task. A new prospect, I want you to know today, amen, even through 138 years, I realize, amen, that through the difficulty, that through the blood, the sweat, and the tears, amen, even, amen, through some of the families that that are represented here to those, amen, that had in their minds, because, amen, it starts in the mind, amen, and it enters into the heart. Right. Uh, that they had an idea to make sure that you all had a place to worship. Amen. Amen. From the brush harbor to the stick house, amen, to the brick house, through, through all of the remodeling, amen, you couldn't have done it without the Lord on your side. Because I realized even through, amen, the thought and the mind and the heart to do, there were people that, amen, didn't want it to happen. And even most of the time, people don't want it to happen because it was not their idea. But we have to learn that, that when God is in something, learn, amen, how to surf with it. Don't go against the way, but go with the way. Because when you go, amen, against the wave, sometimes it, it causes more damage than it has to. Have you ever seen a man on TV, a surfer, he, he'll swim out, amen, and it takes every bit of energy to try to swim out on, on that board, amen, to get and wait on the right, the right wave. Amen. amen. But when the right wave, amen, comes, amen, they can stand up upon, amen, the surfboard and ride it in with ease. Yeah. Can, can I get a witness? That's right. And that's the way, same way, amen, it is when we're doing God's work. Yeah. Amen. He may not come when we call him, but he's always on time. You couldn't have made it this far without the Lord. But let's deal, amen, because the scripture says, amen, that that, 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 that we are more, not I, but we are more than conquerors. See, we, it is a plural meaning of I, and, and the rest of the group refers to, to oneself as well as another. When you talk about we. Because I ain't never seen I do nothing. <laughs> But when you start talking about I, amen, it brings in uh, a selfishness. It, it does not bring in celebration. Yeah. Come on, come on. Have you ever seen, amen, a baseball team where players always talk about I, but they ain't never won a game? Amen. But when they turn around and realize that they, that they didn't do it by themselves, amen, the bats start swinging, the, amen, the legs start running, amen, and the numbers start going up and they find themselves in victorious land. Yeah. When you realize it's we. Yeah. But understanding because you made it over. Yeah. You're a conqueror. Yeah. You overcome, amen, the adversary. Uh -huh. Which is anyone or anything standing in the way of God completing God's will. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen, someone. Yes, but, but I thank God for those that stand in the way sometimes. Uh -huh. Because those that stand in the way, amen, made me strengthen, amen, myself in the Lord. Uh -huh. Amen. If you don't never go through nothing, 
You can't appreciate anything. You got to go through something. See here, in this particular text, amen, Paul's thesis is this. The gospel, amen, declares that God's righteousness, his saving justice is available for all people, the, the Jew as well as the Gentile alike. But only through faith. So first Paul, what he does, he demonstrates why justification is by faith. And the basic reason is that all people, again, Jew and Gentile alike, have been saved. Amen. Yes, yes, amen. We, we, we're in the midst of sin, but, but because we're saved, amen, sin, amen, has not become a part of our vocabulary. Yes, amen. amen. I realize that somebody even said in Sunday school this morning, we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yeah. Amen. But because we're in it, don't mean we got to act like them. Amen. And I believe today, amen, new prospect, because of, uh, of what God has, has done for you, you can say you can appreciate what God has done, amen, and you can shut the world out in such a way, but you still can welcome me. Amen. Listen, Romans chapter 8 is probably one of the most loved chapters in all the scripture. Paul begins and, amen, uh, this passage with statements about the absolute security of we who are in Christ. And I want you to know today, amen, if you're saved, if you're sanctified, amen, if you're full of the Holy Ghost, I want you to know, that, amen, you don't have to worry about things because God, amen, is, is right by your side. Amen. Yes, amen. You don't have to worry about it. I, I know the flesh, amen, wants one thing, because I know putting this day together, everybody had their own little say so. Probably some people may not be here today because their mouths are stuck out because it wasn't done like they wanted it to do. But but but, but you in God's hand. You, you ain't got to say amen. The two things that Paul is dealing with here. First thing he's dealing with, he's dealing with sharing of God's spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. The second part, amen, of this eighth chapter is he's talking about and sharing that uh, we share with the sufferings of the law. Surely God. Surely. Amen, somebody. Amen. But I want you to know, amen, when it comes to the spirit of God, yeah. amen, not only did the scripture say we're more than conquerors, uh -huh. but he said we're joint heirs, or we heirs with God and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen, because we have accepted his spirit. Yeah. But for those who have not accepted, amen, his spirit, amen, he is not with them. Amen. Now, there's a difference between being there for them and being there for them. Amen. amen. Because when you are saved, amen, uh, there's nothing that you go through that he's not helping you through. But when you have not accepted him, and I'm going to get out of your way in a minute. When you have not accepted him, amen, he'll let your wing go out there by itself, by yourself, until you figure out, amen, that you need his help. Can I get a witness? And sometimes we get it mixed up, amen. Now, as the scripture makes it clear, the promise of salvation is only given to those who believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay. And for those who reject Jesus, amen, God, and will not be saved, amen, will not be received. Yeah. Now, for we who have come by faith understand that, that our faith will be tested, amen, but our salvation is secure. Yeah. Every day, amen, we're tested, amen, things happen, amen, that we may not want to happen, yeah. amen, but, but a lot of times what we say is when we're being tested, uh, uh, Satan get thee behind. Uh -huh. Now say to the mess with you. Amen. But, but, but will God allow you to go through things to make sure you're, you are who you say you are. Because most of us only Christians and we only do prospect or we only Bethesda on Sundays. Amen. Amen. Next on other days, amen, we something else. Amen. 
But we have to understand that when we go through tests, it only makes us strong. That's it. That's it. Hardships, amen, may test our faith, but we should understand God, amen, doesn't abandon his children. Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, in the beginning and the end of this chapter, Paul makes a case of why all of this is true. Mm -hmm. He begins, amen, with another simple explanation of the gospel. Mm -hmm. God's good news about his son's life on earth as a man and, and death on earth for our sin. Uh -huh. Now, this allowed the law to be fulfilled and justice to be done for us. See, when we come to Christ by faith, we are considered to be living according to God's Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. We can't live as the world and expect the Spirit of God to dwell in us. Yes, sir. Amen. Well, sometimes, amen, we see people out and about outside the church and you shake your head and start scratching. You tell them, is that the person I seen yesterday? <laughs> Turn around, amen, and you get on your telephone, amen, and you start calling folks. Have you seen brothers or sister such and such? Amen. Something ain't right. But then ask yourself, we call ourselves, amen, children of God. When we say these things, did, did we offer a helping hand? Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. See, when you're a church and then God dwells within you, amen. you don't sit back and put a bad mouth on somebody else or, or expect somebody else to do what you should have done from the beginning. Amen, hey, hey, somebody. Amen. It's our job, amen, to stand boldly and be not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. Even if we got to take somebody with us, you ain't got to tell them what's going on. Amen. Just tell them we're going to check on them and, and see if everything all right. Amen. Because other folk We'll look down on people and spread, amen, some untruths. Yes, now, sharing his spirit, amen, is doing his will. But also, amen, we talk about sharing his spirit, amen, we need to understand that we all going to have some good days and some bad days. Have you ever... Seen everything go good. Amen. And then as soon as things got good, something bad happened. Amen. The Bible teaches us, amen, that where there's good, he was always present. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. Pastor JJ, on last Sunday, we, we had such an awesome time. We, we preached, amen, on the subject, trusting God. Amen. Turn around and I dropped the wife off, amen, for, amen, a, a baby shot. Started down the road, stopped at exact speeds, amen, got something, and started off down toward Gavney, crossed over number nine. I seen something in the road that, 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 that looked similar to a snake, amen. I straddled it, and while I straddled it, all of a sudden, I started hearing, boom, 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 boom. I'm like, what in the world is going on? The harder I drove, the more it beat on the side of my truck. I'd hooked a man a rubber strap in my tire and it was beating the, the side of my, my vehicle. So I, I unhooked the rubber part and, and drove and got in the parking lot of Mark Hill. Amen, somebody. Amen. Look back to amen and I couldn't do nothing but smile. That's right. Because when you're trusting God, amen, amen, and when things are going good, amen, you still have to put a smile on your face, amen. Because if he's for you, he's for you. Amen. I, I, I suffered. I suffered a beating on that truck because it's still keeping me. I feel like I ain't right here. But Paul here, he's quick to say that our sufferings here and now is not worth comparing to the glories in eternity. But he didn't say that sufferings doesn't hurt. Yeah. I see many times that people say sticks and stones may break my bone, but the words will never hurt me. Yeah, they do. But people say sometimes, amen, it can, can make you or break you. Amen. 
<laughs> People say sometimes, amen, and make your tongue lash out quickly, and then you can grab it back. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't gonna like the people say, I don't cuss or yell when the right thing ain't happening. <laughs> Paul says, amen, also that we groan right along with all of creation under the consequences of sin. Uh -huh. Amen, because sin, amen, uh, I don't know about you, amen, but, 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 but sin, amen, we, we, until you come back to your right mind, it'll hurt you. Uh -huh. Even like the prodigal son, he, 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 he knew, amen, what he had been doing. He got away, he wanted everything that he had, and he went out and, and lived like he wanted to, like the world. But when he came to his senses, amen, uh, ain't anybody thank God that, amen, that we come to our senses? Ain't anybody that thank God that, that when we come to ourselves, he's there with his arms wide open, us, welcome us back in? Amen. But until then, mm -hmm. we wait yeah. and we suffer. But I thank God today that we don't suffer alone. Can I get a witness? God said that I never leave you nor forsake you. And while we wait, we can be sure of one thing. Yeah. That our God yeah. is for us. Yes, he is working out every circumstance for our ultimate good. Because he chose us before we ever knew him and destined us to be called and to be justified and glorified. God uh, being for us means that nobody can ever bring any accusation uh, against us and make it successful. And understand that God has already justified us. The Lord stands by making an intercession for us. In that he paid for each and every sin with his own blood. Which brings us back to where we started. No matter how powerful, no matter how terrible, yeah. nothing, and I mean nothing, can separate us in any way from the love that God has for us in Christ Jesus. Can I get a witness? If he is for you, then nothing can stand against you. Through the years, from the beginning to the end, God's been good to all of us. Can I get a witness? He picked me up and turned me around and placed my feet on solid ground. He made a way. Can I get a witness? I don't know way. He made a way. He picked me up, turned me around, placed my feet on solid ground. He's just that dude. But in as you celebrate 138 years, many said you wouldn't make it. But look what the Lord uh -huh. has done. Yeah. Some said uh, 
you wouldn't amount to anything but just still standing in the presence of God. And uh, you've been blessed for 138 years uh, through this and through that. Uh, you made it. Uh, can I get a witness? Uh, you made it on down through the years. Uh, some have died. Some are not able to witness. Amen. But they're still those few uh, that keep on trusting the Lord. Can I get a witness? Uh, I'm so glad today uh, that God sent his son down through 42 generations. Can I get a witness? Uh, he found himself uh, standing between God and man. He was taking, uh, amen, uh, our problem to God and telling him uh, uh, that we still got a little more power in us. Can I get a witness? Well, the Bible teaches us that, that one Friday they hung him high and stretched him wide. Can I get a witness? He looked around and he said, it is finished. There for the rest of the day on Friday. There all day on Saturday. But early, 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 was Saturday. still standing yeah. with you yeah. even on there's 138 years yeah. you want me to tell you how you made it you want me to tell you How you made it? By the grace of the Lord. I've come a long way. Do I have any witnesses here? By the grace of the Lord, I've come a long way. I could have been sleeping in my grave, but God. To stand back and behave yeah, yeah, yeah. by the grace the of the Lord. Yeah. I've come a long way. Yeah. Yeah. This is the prophet. I, I want you to know today that, that by the grace of God, amen, yeah. you've come a long way. Yeah. Amen. If it has not been for the Lord on your side, you never would have made it. Can I get a witness? By the grace of God. We've come a long way. And I want to encourage you and let you know there's going to be many more years. Even the seven years that your pastor has been with you. There's still going to be some ups and downs. Going to be some hills and climbs. But remember, by the grace of God, you'll make it. Through it all, you make it. Amen. 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 Doors of the church are open. Amen. Amen. You can come however God is landing on your heart. Amen. Through it all, amen, we have made it, amen? amen? Amen, we thank God for the message and the messenger. 
Amen. But there be one. Amen. Who wants to give a life to the Lord today? Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Just now. Just now. Just now. Once again, we come calling on your name. Thank you, Lord, for another day's journey. Because, Lord, if it had not been for you on our side, oh God, where would we be? God, like the preacher just said, Lord, through it all, we have made it. Sometimes, God, we've had to cry, but God, we've made it. Because, God, we know that we've been made both for a night. But joy will come in the morning. And this joy that we have, the world didn't give it to us. And that's why the world can't take it away. God, we thank you for your son who hung, bled, and died on that old rugged cross for us. But most importantly, he got up on that third day with all power in his hand. And because he got up, God, we are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us. God, we pray, God, that your people realize that sometimes the battle is going to get tough. But the battle isn't ours anyway. The battle belongs to the Lord. And because we are on the Lord's side, we know that we have the victory. God, sometimes things don't go the way we want them to go, but God, we have the victory. God, sometimes our plans don't line up with your will, but we still have the victory. For that, Master, we say thank you. God, Lord, we pray you forgive us for our sins and our shortcomings. God, we praying for those that may be on a bed of affliction right now. God, we praying for those that's lying in a hospital bed right now. God, we praying for the bereaved families. God, the buried family, have mercy upon the Master as only you can. God, we thank you for your presence being felt here this morning. God, we thank you for blessing us with 138 years. And God, Lord, we're going to keep giving you praise until you come back. God, we're going to keep giving you glory until you come back. Because, God, we found you to be worthy of all of the praise. God, we thank you for the Bethesda Church family today. And their pastor, God, because, Lord, we realize how beautiful it is for brethren to dwell together in unison. God, we thank you, God, because we realize it's not about Bethesda, it's not about New Prospect, but God, it's all about you. Because you are the one that sits high and looks low. You are the one that still has all power in the hand. Because of that, God, Lord, we know that through it all, we are going to make it. God, we bless you today. God, we honor you today, God, because we love you today. Because you first loved us. In Jesus' name we pray, all God's children say amen. 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 amen.
Amen. As we get ready to go into our uh, communion, then we're going to get on up out of here because I know Miss D and company is back there waiting on us. <coughs> Amen. We're going to ask Minister Alexander to read our scripture for us. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat this, it's my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whoever, whoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthy shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthy eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this call many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. For when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not condemn with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one from another, and if any man...